So you have a new CNC machine and or laser cutter and you would like to draw things make maybe even draw a name um, play with shapes uh, you would like to cut them into different media you have a CNC machine you could cut into wood so here comes Inkscape now Inkscape is free and I tried to get all free software here there's no subscription no light and no license except for uh, uh, a um, I think it's a, a new license yeah so there's a, a license is free and so people can use it for whatever they want and so that's the great thing about uh, about Inkscape. Now, to start a document, hey, when you start out, you get a um, a sheet of paper. It's meant for uh, things like uh, posters and things like that. So what you want is to set the document properties and the properties um, right now are set in millimeter so we'll choose a 200 uh, 100 uh, 200 millimeter width and a height of 100 millimeter I'll make it a little little board now there's a bunch of th things you can set up. You could probably uh, send your defaults, but that's what we're going to work with today. And I want to uh, just write some text. So I'm going to write my name. Not very impressive. And I can size it. Okay, that's going to fit into my my um, work area. And uh, now I could choose other fonts. and I have a slew of different fonts so let's try something with a little mo a bit more legs here's a serif font beautiful okay so that's all nice but if I try to export it into blender it won't even see one thing so you think it's failed I have to convert object to path so when you do that then the whole object becomes different paths so now I need to uh, export or save I'll choose save as and put my name there now I bring up blender the blender has the startup file so nothing special import
there we go. So that's my name is there. Uh, but as you can see, it has different curse of so five. So one way I could merge all the curves is to select everything. So you do that by pressing A and then A again and then join. So it becomes one curve. And now I can set, I'm going to make the object solid. And you can see it's very thin, it doesn't have a height. And I'm going to start one cam operation. Now the cam operation gives you the area that you would have for um, a work surface. But we already know that it was uh, uh, 200 millimeter. By... 100 millimeter there and the thickness well um, choose uh, one centimeter now the only thing is if you want to cut through then you would have to put one minus one centimeter if you have a centimeter thick material okay so now you see the location has been changed to minus one centimeter and that's actually the the depth of the cut that's going to happen uh, let's see if like I haven't changed anything uh, the cutter the cam cutter let's see is a three millimeter cutter with an end So let's see what happens here. All right, so I just press calculate path and it made the path and let's move this a bit. It made the path. As you can see, uh, the bit plunges here and cuts the inside. Now there's a problem with that. Uh, oh, over here, the bit is too big, it won't cut. Um, so you could space out the letters or choose a different font um, but that's not the big problem the big problem actually is the um, insides or even this little part it'll fly off after you cut so that's where we're just gonna I'm just gonna select this curve uh, not the curve but the cuts and delete to cut again okay so uh, if I use use bridge and I use a one millimeter thick to make it a nice thick bridge and put auto generate bridge now I have a bridge here I have a bridge here at the corner bridge on top but I would also like a bridge. Okay, this is nice and nicely bridged here. Maybe even a little too much. Because that's going to hold just two tabs. However, the inside here is completely not bridged. What to do? And one of the solutions that I found was to uh, generate bridges again. So it makes a copy of the bridges. And now you can just slide it over. Put the bridge where you need it inside so now everything is bridged calculate the path again 
and you will see this nice rise here wherever I put a bridge so that means my thi my my pieces here won't fly off or will be at least fastened now like I said I, I can't cut here so what if I change my cutter to a uh, two millimeter cutter and recalculate again so now I do have a cut here and it will execute over here it's nice see it's so what's nice is you can preview and you can check to see that everything is well before sending to the uh, CNC machine. Now another thing I'd like to check is uh, how long it'll take to cut and usually my machine can go much faster than the defaults here. You have a few settings that you can change. You can change the speed. Of course you have to find them. My machine preset is this one and it's a Linux CNC machine. Uh, I just changed the size of the, of the thing again. Cam feed rate. So now I have it at one meter. Uh, my machine is able to do uh, much faster. So I could use a two meter. Or, well, yeah. Use a 1.5 meter. That's meters per minute. And uh, re recalculate will change my speed here. So it estimates one minute twenty six seconds for this piece. Oh, and and where does it go? The actual file will be named Operation One. So to make sure that people understand where it goes, um, you can call it uh, your own. The name of the, th the thing I'll call it my own name. I will uh, recalculate the path just to make sure that it saves and also uh, I need to find it so it's in my blender directory so blender cam is in here and I should have my own name here and here it is I hope you uh, enjoyed this video I have more videos to come about blender and blender cam and also all sorts of CNC videos so please subscribe uh, it will help me out a lot have a great day there are more videos to come so please subscribe